Hi. Um, so one of my followers, Patricia, give Patricia a shout out. She gives me some of the best ideas for my videos. She's been pretty amazing. Um, asked me how I ship my uh, jewelry. So I thought I would do a video on it because I would imagine if you're just getting started out, you also probably have questions about how to ship stuff. So what I do, um, and when I started out, I did it a little differently. I would go to Michael's. They sell, uh, this one is for uh, necklaces. They sell these boxes. They're just, and you can kind of get them. They're either white or they're done in like a cardboard, craft paper color. Um, they have, um, like a little cottony thing in there. Um, they have all different shapes and sizes. So I would buy them. Um, Michaels usually has really great sales. So if there's a Michaels in your area, um, when I started, I bought them from Michaels. Uh, of course, I'm gonna throw some affiliate links in here. So I will pop an affiliate link for them in bulk on Amazon, because if it's something that you're thinking that you're gonna wanna do full time. You're gonna want to get your um, bottom line down about as low as you possibly can, and you really only wanna be paying, you know, cents for stuff and not dollars, cause you have to pay for it unless you charge a handling fee, uh, which I don't do anymore. Um, I used to charge a handling fee, but I kinda try to beg, borrow, and steal all this stuff. I mean, I don't really steal. I beg and borrow all the stuff um, that I use for packing. Uh, everybody I know orders from Amazon, so I get everybody's boxes, um, which doesn't really help you for the jewelry, but um, I lucked onto some of these. I had a friend that had ordered some larger sizes. They sent her these small sizes on accident, so she gave them to me, and they're the perfect size for a small box that has, <laughs> I think this one's a little too thick. Yeah, so you need a really thin one, but perfect for rings and bracelets and stuff like that. These are great. Um, this will ship at a, um, I almost said flat rate, at a first class mail, as long as it's under um, 12 ounces, I think it'll ship first class mail, and that'll cost you around three or four dollars. If you include insurance, it'll cost you a little bit more. I also do some priority mail stuff. Um, this one is kind of like a mylar envelope, but they actually have one that has bubble wrap in it because if I use these guys, I usually wrap it with some bubble wrap so nothing gets damaged inside. So if you use one of these, you have to, I suggest wrapping a piece of bubble wrap around it to make sure that it gets there safely. But if you get the ones and you have to order them online, they, um, they don't usually carry them in the post office and the post office people kind of don't like it when you go in and you're snagging all their boxes. So if you get online and all the priority mail stuff is free from the post office, so if you get online, you can have them deliver you the um, mailers that have bubble on the inside of them. Now, if you're shipping priority mail, the priority mail is a lot more expensive. It's gonna cost you seven or eight dollars, depending on where you're shipping it to. Um, the, uh, the bubble one is a flat rate, so it's gonna be a flat rate no matter where you send it to. Sorry, I, I uh, fibbed to you there. Um, but they will deliver them to you and they're free, so there's no out-of-pocket expense for those. Um, and for Etsy, up to $100 worth of insurance is included for free. Now, if you're selling on eBay, I think it's about $50 worth of insurance that's included for free. And I think that's the same if you're using the United States Postal Service. So I try to get stuff as inexpensively as I can. I do put all my jewelry into a little box of some sort if I can and then slip it into one of those envelopes and either do the first class mail or the priority mail shipping. Um, I will, again, I'll put some affiliate links in if you want to buy some bubble mailers so you can ship first class mail, which is a much cheaper option. I actually pass the shipping costs along to my customers. Um, I'm not, you know, usually I'm not selling anything for all that huge amount of money and to pay for the materials <laughs> and to um, cover the shipping costs myself is pretty expensive um, and I'm not a big a guy like Amazon. So I do pass the costs along to my buyers, but that is certainly a personal choice. You can either do free shipping and then you definitely want to use the first class mail option, which means you're going to have to. Um, come out of pocket a little bit to pay for your own packing materials. But if you give people the option of using priority mail or first class mail, then you don't necessarily have to come out of pocket for your for your supplies. I hope that helps you. Um, as always, I'm going to have a subscribe button up here. 
I'm gonna have a link for some of my other videos over here. So make sure you click subscribe, check out my other videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or give me a comment and thanks for checking me out.